Hi friends, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the second installment of Eyeshadow Roulette. Very excited to change up my colors today and pick all new shades. I had the most amount of fun doing it and I was pleasantly surprised with what I chose last time and I'm here to pick another five shades. I'm just a smidge early, just a little bit, and I'm just really feeling the need to switch them in part because two of my shadows were Anastasia shadows that I was already kind of sick of, um, but it was really fun to have these five shades to work with. So in this video, there's just a couple of new things that I'm going to be doing to hopefully make the project better. So when I pick a new color, I will show you both live, you know, in the viewfinder, like, okay, here's the shadow, here's what it's looking like. And then I'll also show you a picture, kind of project pan style. So then at the end of the two months, I'll be able to show you what the progress looks like, if there is any. So you can see visually, okay, I used this shade 20 times. Now you know, just in terms of usage. So that's what we're gonna be doing now. I did not do this for last month, except for the gold. I don't know why I just took a picture of the gold shade and then nothing else. So that <laughs> does not make a whole lot of sense. The other thing is that last month I had not put in the Nudes of New York palette. So this palette is coming in. This is going to be shade one and then, you know, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then, you know, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16. So that one is going to be rolled in as onto the like the very end of the spreadsheet. So all of the shades that were up last time are no longer going to be in the project. They're going to be rolled out and they're not going to be viable to pick. I think that's just what I mean. So what I can pick from are all of my single shadows and pot shadows as well as all of the eyeshadows from my eyeshadow palettes. Also, just the last thing, one of the colors, I don't know what happened to her. I used her on Sunday. <laughs> I used her on Sunday and then she just disappeared. I can't find her. It's the, like the caviar stick, but it's the Bobbi Brown version. That one, I almost decluttered it. I hated it on its first use and then became probably my favorite shade. So I'm sad I don't know where she is. I guess it is what it is. <laughs> so for the project, um, I'll guess I'll swatch each of the colors. So the first shade I had was the 3CE, this nudie shade in the 3CE Overtake palette. I used this 10 times. And then for the Modern Renaissance palette, I had two shades from that palette. I had the gold and then the orange. So I used the gold 13 times and then I used the orange eight times. I had, then I had that single shadow. I don't know again where it is. And then I also had the brown from the retro palette. At least those are four of the five shades. How I mainly use that Bobbi Brown stick would be to put it all over the lid and then put this color on top. I got so much freaking use out of this color. It's actually unreal. Oh yeah, by the way, did I say the glam, the brown shade? I used 12 times. This shade here, I got so much use out of. I loved layering it and it looks amazing. <laughs> it was so great. I've had now, I now have a really big dip in this pan and also this one and this one, or this one, there's actually a big dip. And then these two, um, you can more see the usage in than you did before. This one in particular, and that's because I did like to add this to the corner of some of my looks. I found that I dipped into this palette when I was using one or two of these shades. Like sometimes I would put these two together when I just pulled out one, like this palette to use one of the shades. I was often using multiple, whereas for the Modern Renaissance, I did use the Vermeer, the pink color, just a couple of times, maybe twice, really. Um, and I didn't really dip into any of the other shades. I was strictly going into here for those two shades. And then the brown, there's actually a noticeable dip in the pan. There, it was basically flat before, even though I used it a couple of times. Now there's actually visible use. And I did, I did combine it with some of the other mattes. I did also use it with 
this shade once and then this shade um, another time. So I'm actually hoping for a bit more of a diverse color story this time. This one was too on the nose. Like this could just be the modern Renaissance palette. You know, I am as a final look wearing um, both of the modern Renaissance shades as well as the brown from the Glam palette today. It's like my last hurrah. Let's now go and pick the shades for round two. Okay, so I just put in the new values. Um, we are one to 190. I changed the value from one. So let's start. So number shade number one is 43. And 43 is in the 3CE Overtake palette. Okay, so 43 is this brown shade right down here. Okay. That one is, it's like a browny, maroony kind of shade. Can we see? There's just a light use there. Um, okay, so shade number two is 110. I swear the, the numbers hate me. It's modern renaissance. It's modern renaissance. What? Okay, come on now. It's Venetian red. <laughs> That's the one effect. Okay, let me just, I'm gonna, okay, hold on, let me just show that to you again. This is, like, it's very, very lightly used. Let's swatch these things. Okay, so this is the 3C Overtake. It's looking way more chocolatey than I imagined, like way more brown than in the palette. At least in my mind anyways. And then let's do Venetian Red. Did a light swatch. So overtake Venetian Red. This is gonna be interesting. 164. 164 is in the Cinnamon Swirl palette. Batter Up is 164. It's too close. Um, so I'm going to, I'm gonna pick again. It's looking just way too similar. We're not gonna do that. So let's pick again. 140, did, wait, did I just get 142? Okay, glam. And so it's in the glam palette. No, it's in the retro palette. Retro palette. Okay, it's Vivian from the retro palette. This is like a light pink. Hold on, I'll, sh I'll show you the actual palette in a second. So that's the swatch right there. You know what, I'm gonna build it up. Just okay, so that's it right there. It's fairly light, but I think you can see it. And this is the shade right here. So Vivian, you can see I have dug my brush into that quite a bit. So that's the third shade. Are we gonna make it to five palettes? All right, so 142. Now 151 is also, is also in the cinnamon swirl shade. It's this one. I'll do it because, oh God, this shade terrifies me. Have you ever in your life ever seen me wear anything like this? Okay. It's interesting. 105. 105 is modern renaissance. <laughs> Why? Do I even bother? Why do I even bother? I'll just tell you what it is. It's Cypress Umber. It's this shade here. And, okay. I don't wear dark shades and I have four. Now, I promised my friend Rita that I would be a little bit more open this time. So how about, how about this? I'll put it in. It's looking so dark. Oh God, look at it. It's so dark. Just for like for my skin tone, my preferences. Now I'm gonna pick a sixth shade. I'm gonna pick a sixth shade of that one and I'll take whichever one is better. How about that? 98. Don't tell me. <laughs> no, it's not, it's Charlotte London Bloom. It's Charlotte London Bloom. I thought it was gonna be Modern Renaissance again. Modern Renaissance starts at 99. Okay, so it's a very, 
This, this is the shade that it picked. Apparently, I am destined to have an all super dark palette. This is it. This is the palette that it chose. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, mindset check. I'm gonna make it work. This is interesting, is it not? Editing Shauna here. I've had a couple of days to sit with this color story and have gotten more and more nervous about it. I can't really think of ways to use these colors other than like in the corner, which is not very creative. And the whole point of this project was to push me out of my comfort zone. And I really also wanted to bring a look in this video of me trying out one of like just an experimentation. Yeah, to try an experimental look. I just got too nervous about it. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to bring a video doing five different eye looks. And they're all going to be an experimentation, so they might actually fail. And if they look like hot garbage, I will still post them because I'm still trying something new. So that's what I'm going to do instead. Probably come in like 10-ish days, maybe 14, something like that. When I've, when I've had some time to play around and try different looks. I'm hoping for it to be a quick video because it'll just, you know, showcase the eyes. But we'll see. So look forward to that. Okay, I'm a little intimidated to be honest. I'm only gonna get okay, here. I'm gonna live with this for one month. I'll do it for a month because I wanna push my boundaries a little bit, you know? And if I hate it after a month, then we'll switch. But I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna give it my best efforts. Okay, so that's the palette. What do you think? If you have, if you wanna give me any suggestions, feel free because I'm here for it. Um, Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very chaotic video and hope to see you again around here soon. Bye.